Hi, this is Brendan with a quick hatch embroidery quick tip. So on this tip, I want to talk about auto split and the effects it can have on a large object such as these uh, flower petals here, which are using the satin stitch, but it's using the auto split feature. Now what the auto split feature does is when the stitch is very long, it will automatically split the stitch up into smaller little stitches. So there's those penetrations you see down the middle here, as opposed to it being a really, really long stitch from one end of the object to another, which can cause problems in terms of splitting or getting caught or even problems with your machine sewing it as well. If you select one of your objects and go right click and object properties, under your fill stitch panel will be this uh, checkbox here called auto split. If you turn that off, you can see instead of it splitting in the middle, those stitches are going all the way across. Now maybe that's an effect you might want for a particular purpose, but it typically doesn't sew as good and again can cause issues later down the track with it splitting or getting caught because there's such long bits of thread down the side there. Now another way of seeing it as opposed to this uh, true view here is if we turn off the true view and on your keyboard, if you press the full stop, this will actually show you the penetrations as tiny little white dots. So every, everywhere you see a white dot, is where the needle is penetrating. And here you can clearly see there's all these little penetrations here which make up a part of that split object. If you select that object and turn off auto split, you can see those penetrations are gone because it's creating those really long stitches along there. And that's my quick tip. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.